It comes more than a year after his death. Today, the man accused of gunning down Albuquerque police officer Daniel Webster during a traffic stop was officially charged with murder. Here's News 13's Aaron Drawhorn. Kim, the DA's office repeatedly told us over the past year there was no rush here to charge Devon Lyman with the murder because he's in federal custody and he's not going anywhere. Well, the attorney general's office took that case a couple months ago and today they took action charging Lyman with Officer Webster's murder. The criminal complaint spells out some new details that elaborates on others. We already knew Officer Webster pulled Lyman over in October of last year at Eubank and Central because Lyman's motorcycle plates came back as stolen. We now know that bike was in fact stolen. That's when police say Lyman, an ex-con who had already served time for another killing, pulled out a gun and then shot Webster, firing off six shots in all. Lyman was captured a few blocks away, hiding under a porch. Police also found the murder weapon they traced back to Lyman. It's a gun similar to this one. Today, the complaint revealed he bought it from a Stanley couple just three weeks before the killing. They posted an Internet ad and they met him on Central for that sale. He had given them a fake name. And of course, a background check is not required on a private sale like that. The criminal complaint does not give a motive for the murder, but as an ex-con, Lyman faced years behind bars if he were caught with that gun. Of course, he was just convicted last week on a federal charge for having that gun the night of the murder. He faces up to 10 years for that. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Aaron. Now, Lyman had a 17-year-old girl on the back of the motorcycle at the time. She ran after the shooting. Well, here's how police found her. She was in the juvenile jail a week later for something else when she blabbed in front of a CYFD worker that Lyman was her, quote, homie and that she was there for the murder.